Welcome back everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood Mick. We are back on control again. And picking up right where we left off. And a couple of looks like a couple extra missions to do. Uh, oh, okay. Jukebox token. Listen to that later. What about you? What you got for me? I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. They're bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A uh, jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? Okay. That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map the physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have blown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Gnarly. Yeah, let's do a little... What's the deal with yeah. Blackrock? <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after-work beers down there. Oh. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research. Loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? He's nuts! You <laughs> security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. Yeah, they, they want to see some weird stuff out there. Make sure everything's cool. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retired due to cognitive collapse. And what? Medical definition. Not fun. In other words, they shit themselves. How does the bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. Because Marshall's a badass. What do find so interesting in the quarry? Okay, well, that's a, I have to go. a lot of information so, dump right there. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. We're going to get through this. Huh. All right. is purely antithetical to every variant of the his simulator. But how do do, 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 do. Standing on the table. Ready to open that. Gosh, she's got the regular fucking bookcase over here. Alright. It's happening. 
After all these years, Dylan is here. Calm down, chick. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. A lot of variables. <laughs> he seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Well, find out. Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. All right, upstairs. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We're doing that one. Up here? Oh, yep. Yep, that that's him. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror inverted his name right. Yo, bro. You're speaking in tongues. The service into the way. You've always been in there. You are this patrol. We stand around you while you train. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. You snap out of it, dickhead. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the uh. of the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you stop that? True? Please. Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. Dude, they what the fuck? They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Nope. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Orange peel? Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert. Through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Bro. When you got one eye looking forward and the other one looking off to the in another direction that's a problem you are home the bureau brought the slide projector back here with me and the bureau did what the bureau does they used it of course they used it and they found they opened the door up to the hiss that's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. 
Pioneer Worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Jeez, and the shower is rather soothing. <laughs> yeah, he's talking now. Just real stupid. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcome the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Uh, highly unlikely. In the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a warrior. Okay. You are a warrior. Yeah, he's speaking in tugs. Alright. Containment. Later. I haven't dissected that freak mutation we locked up. We can learn so much from its physiology. He's a valuable resource alive. And Pope forbade any physical harm. Motherfucker. If you disagree, you could always go tell her. No. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, containment sector. Yep, there's more. Yeah, that's right. Take that. Water bottle. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, why is there so many more? Damn. Oh, shit! Fucking fire and rockets, where the fuck did you go? way back. Alright, uh, Prime Candidate Program. I have no idea which direction that would be. Maybe this way? I mean, there's some doors opened over here. Yeah, I don't think this is it. I think it's just right back where he was. I'm guessing.
actually, hold on, let me just, just, well, okay, it's actually not. Shit, okay, I was wrong. Yay. Oh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Not you. There's you. There's you. Ah, I'm in fire! We're good. Ah! Stop shooting me. Ha ha ha! Gotcha, bitch. Alright, so looks like it's gotta be that way. But. Go down here real quick. much going on. Weird. It's fucking trippy as shit. Okay, so it doesn't go any further. Okay. Just making sure there ain't any any hidden little things that I might have missed. See what's on this side. More stuff. Nothing. Okay. Um, maybe. Okay. I'm assuming that's the way we gotta go. No. That's not what I meant to do. Stop. Panopticon series. Post cases. P6. P7. Ooh. What's that about? P7? Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. 
We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Well, duh. Oh, I got an outfit. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. Okay, well, let me look at the other stuff. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one thing. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Fagan. Prime okay. And the sister as well. By once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking North Board level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. Okay, what happened? We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. This is a force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. No, that doesn't sound good. Let's see anything else? No, there's a TV there. Uh, yeah, let's do the TV. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. <laughs> brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. Uh oh. ESP. <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! <laughs> Test. Maybe you 
your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know <coughs> what Ooh, your shoot. brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big, big chair. <laughs> You want the big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! Shut That's up, Meg. Why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. So. It looks like I have to go possibly. I, I can't really. Over that direction to that little. Yeah. what happened in ordinary here that's the place to start looking take rocks take boxes gotcha I think we're Okay, for the moment. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good at all. That's all red and infected. Never mind. Can I not go that way? I don't see anything to open it. Okay, maybe I gotta go this way? Elevator. Dealing and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this the house and being the director just another cell? Who's going to be in charge? How's your face feel, bro? Oh, fuck. Okay, now you can help me out. Anybody else around? Shoot him. Never gone away. 
Huh. I need to see it. Oh. Uh, no, I want the outfits. Oh, fuck it. Must be somewhere else. Must be at the main thing. I could change the outfits. Open the door. Come on. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Alright, um... Oh, that's not good at all. What if I shield? Nope. That don't work. Need the health. You get down, you get down, sit down. Shit. No? Nope. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Oh, that was Maybe stupid of me. Control panel nearby. That's clear. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Well, yeah, the control panel's right there. I got the other ones, so we should be good. Okay. That's just more. This way? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Oh shit. Yep, that's a definite. <laughs> Can't believe that works. How the hell do I get in there? It doesn't show a way in.
Okay. Didn't know I can hulk my way through walls. Apparently that's an option. Well, I got in there anyway. Thought I heard the door lock. Okay. There's two. from here. I go down the elevator? Or do I go through the door? Another battery. Okay. Then where's the... Am I just not seeing it? Where's the battery attacher thingy? Where do you have the two in? What the f- I thought I already did! Battery. Oh, fucking hell. Get you out of the way. Come here. I think we're good. For now. Oh shit. Hey no, Sarah. You have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior explosions? Solve the problem. Or at least what I thought there to be a problem. We good? Okay. So far. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sitting for that whole fucking thing. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, <laughs> urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. 
So if we think about a turd, it could be an object of power. And somebody just waves a turd around. There's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just <laughs> <a> necessary people? <laughs> I just felt like doing it. I don't know why. A reflection. A projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. <laughs> hey, down in front! <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that's... Yeah... You need to bring that with me. Stop! Oh, I was a fucking myth. Come on. Get him. Get him! Oh, and I got my friend. You handle that shit? Did you see that? Shit was nuts. Do 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 do. Just gonna continue along my way here. Has to be. Let's see what they have on ordinary. And nothing. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Superhero landing. Well, quite exquisite little area they've got marked off. Take that! Leave me alone! Bad touch! chest. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. They got that right. This way? a poem last time we talked by Thomas Zane yes beyond the shadow we settled for hmm. 
documentation. Oh, damn. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Okay. This, I have a feeling, is going to be very enemy ridden. Because there's a lot of shit I could use to throw. Let's see what we got over here. And some stuff up there. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, I hear you. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Did I get him? I think I got him. Oh no! It's a big one! It's a big one! Leave me alone! Bad touch! Oh my goodness, will you guys quit spawning? friends. Come on. Are you hiding down there, huh? Bad touch! No, not good. Not good. I might have to check my uh, my stuff. See if I have something that affects shields. Let's see. What do I have? Um, blast radius, zoom, accuracy, recoil. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Nothing really. Shield strength. Evade, launch. Nothing really good. Okay. Animal evaluation of Dylan Clayton, formerly P6. Let's see. No jukebox tokens. I could do some more mods, but I don't think I have. Eh. Screw it.
Yeah. You know what? We're gonna fuck some shit up. No, I was gonna have to refight those fuckers. Oof, here we go again. Step, stop, zoop it about. saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. here real quick. So charge doesn't really do that great, so we're going to switch it over to the pierce. Shit! Oh, fuck yeah, baby! Oh, that was a mess. Alright, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I got a twofer on that. No, I was I knew that wasn't gonna be enough to get you. I don't think it's gonna matter, but still got your ass. We should check that lab. Whew. Oh shit, and I'm running out of time? Fuck. If only I didn't die, I'd probably have been fine. I got a couple of minutes, so. Do 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 do. Pretty sure. Okay, cool. Let's see, what do we get? Anything good? Nope. He 
He doesn't sound good. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Stop smiling like that, you creepy motherfucker. Shit. All right. Well, okay. Looks like we got to make our way back into research. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, see you in the next one. Peace.